Next, we're gonna try the painted bunting. We're gonna do it from the side and the body is an oval that is slightly diagonal. The head is a circular shape, but it's still oval, not completely circular. Connected to the body shape. And I'm gonna make it a little wider, the body shape. You can always change your body shape later if you don't like it. And then the tail is sort of like a rectangular-ish shape. Um, this painted bunting has very delicate legs that you can see they're very thin coming out of this little leg part and splitting into a little toe shape and you can barely see all the toes because there is a branch that we are just gonna let it come down go behind the tail and we can just make it up yours can look different and it can disappear like mine does um, I'm gonna make it a little wider right here you don't have to and I'm gonna erase that first line so that my branch is a little wide so that it's closer to the body and I can add this little teeny tiny leg shape that I see coming down and the little toesies coming off. Um, coming back to the head, I'm gonna add a pointy beak shape and a larger circle-ish eye. The beak, you can see the separation and it's sort of has a spot where the feathers grow close to the beak. And I'm going to erase some of the lines here. Before I add the color details and the wing details. So first I'm going to add a wing shape comes off the back a little before it folds on top of the body. There's a lot of color changing that goes on. The head is mostly a dark blue, but it has a ring of red around the eye. And it also has a bit of a reflection in the eye. So I'm gonna draw that. Later I will color around it and there's a tiny bit of red under the chin. Um, the head turns from blue to light blue and then sharply to yellow. I'm gonna lightly outline the yellow patch I see on the back and the wing. There's a lot of texture and color changing in the wing. There's a little strip of iridescent green and then there are these long feather markings that come along. And those will be challenging to color because there's a lot going on. We may have to just make up our own coloring on that part or not do it in full detail or try our best and use our imagination too. The body under here is some different kinds of reds and then there's some long feather shapes again. Now we are ready to add our color.